reading The Amazing Life Cycle of Plants, written by Kay Barnham, illustrated by Maddie Frost. Look around you. How many plants and flowers and trees and grasses can you see? These natural beauties grow over and over again. But how do they do it? Get ready to dig deep and find out more about the amazing life cycle of a plant. A seed is a baby plant. It is wrapped in a shell to keep it safe until it is time to grow. There are lots of different types of seeds. Avocado stones, apple seeds, and acorns are all seeds. For a seed to grow, everything must be just right. There must be enough water, heat, and light, as well as the right type of soil. When a seed cracks open, roots grow down and a shoot grows up. This sunflower seed has turned into a seedling. The shoot grows taller and thicker. Soon it becomes a plant stem. The stem is strong enough to support the plant as it grows bigger and more leaves appear. It also carries water and food from the roots. These will help the plant grow. The plant's leaves are very important. They take in a gas called carbon dioxide. When this gas mixed with water and sunlight, it makes a sugary food for the plant. Now the plant has energy to grow. The leaves give out another gas called oxygen. Humans need oxygen to survive. Once a plant is fully grown, flowers appear. First there's a bud, and slowly this opens to show the petals. Flowers are bright and bold. They have a strong smell, and this makes it easy for bees, butterflies, and other creatures to find them. Deep inside the flower, there is a sweet liquid called nectar. Bees use this to make honey. Insects drink it to give them energy. As they hunt for nectar, creatures carry pollen from flower to flower. Pollen also floats through the air in the wind. It is because of pollen that flowers make seeds. It is important that seeds do not fall straight down. If they land in the plant's shade, seeds will not grow. Instead, the plant scatters its seeds far and wide. When seeds travel too many places, more of them might grow into new plants. Seeds scatter in different ways. The wind might blow them away. Seeds might float on the tide. Sometimes seed pods burst and fire their seeds outward. Animals scatter seeds too. When they eat fruit, the seeds hidden inside travel through the animals and out the other end. Did you know that some trees and plants need fire to survive? This giant redwood tree does not release its seed until there is a fire. The heat then makes the pine cones open. Ash from the fire makes the soil the perfect place for a new tree to grow. Plants such as ferns, mosses, and algae do not grow seeds. They grow tiny round spores instead. The wind blows spores away from the plant. Some land in damp places, and if other spores land nearby, a brand new plant may start to grow. A plant's life cycle is its time it takes to grow from a seed to a flower, scatter seeds, and die. The life cycle of some plants just takes weeks. Others might, take, might live for a year. The life cycle of a Madagascar palm tree is as long as 100 years. The life cycle of plants are very important to farmers and gardeners. Farmers need to know when to sow crops and when they will be ready for harvest. Gardeners need to know what to plant so that their gardens are colorful all year round. The end.